Hello curious minds, and welcome back to the How to Why channel. Today, we're delving into a subject that has gained significant relevance in our modern lives, the impact of blue light. Are these blue lights truly harmful to our eyes? How exactly could they be affecting our eyes? Join us in this intriguing video as we explore these questions and uncover the potential risks of blue light exposure. Blue light, often emitted by our beloved gadgets, such as phones, tablets and TVs has caught the attention of scientists and health experts for a few reasons. So why blue light is bad compared to other types of lights? Let's dive into the science behind it. Blue light, also known as high-energy visible light, falls within the spectrum of colors visible to the human eye. These colors are measured in units called nanometers, where shorter wavelengths indicate higher energy levels. In this context, blue light boasts a notably short wavelength, giving rise to its higher energy content. What sets blue light apart is its interaction with our eyes. Unlike some other forms of light, our eyes have limited natural defenses against blue light. This means that when blue light enters our eyes, a significant portion of it can pass through the eye's internal structures and reach the retina, the light-sensitive tissue at the back of the eye. To put it simply, our eyes are less equipped to filter out the potentially harmful effects of blue light. This phenomenon has raised concerns about its impact on eye health and overall well-being. So, how can blue light harm us? Let's begin with its impact on sleep. Our bodies have a natural internal clock called the circadian rhythm. This regulates our sleep-wake cycle, and a hormone called melatonin plays a big role in it. But guess what? Blue light, especially from screens, can mess with melatonin production. Exposure to blue light in the evening and at night can suppress melatonin, making it harder to fall asleep and affecting the quality of our sleep overall. Studies have shown that excessive exposure to blue lights before bed can lead to sleep disorders such as insomnia, difficulty falling asleep, and even poor quality of sleep. So, those late-night Netflix binges or scrolling through your phone before bed may be negatively impacting your sleep cycle without you even realizing it. But that's not all. Prolonged exposure to blue lights can also harm our visual health. The blue light emitted from our devices can strain our eyes and cause digital eye strain, also known as computer vision syndrome. Symptoms include dry eyes, blurred vision, headaches, and even long-term damage to our retinas. Speaking of retinas, there's an eye condition called age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. Some studies suggest that blue light might be linked to this condition, though more research is needed to fully understand the connection. Now, not all blue light is bad. The blue light from the sun is actually beneficial during the daytime. It helps regulate our mood, alertness, and circadian rhythm. But it's when we're bombarded with excessive artificial blue light, especially at night, that the problems arise. So, what can we do to protect ourselves? Here are a few tips. 1. Limit screen time, especially before bedtime. 2. Use blue light filters on your devices to reduce the amount of blue light emitted. 3. Consider wearing blue light blocking glasses, especially if you're a night owl. 4. Opt for warm toned lighting in the evening to minimize disruption to your sleep cycle. 5. Get outside during the day to soak in natural sunlight and regulate your internal clock. Remember to take regular breaks from your screens by practicing the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look away from your screen and focus on something 20 feet away for at least 20 seconds. This will help reduce eye strain and give your eyes a much needed break. Exploring the science behind the effects of blue light and offering practical tips for reducing blue light exposure, we're committed to enriching your understanding. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and activate the notification bell, as you won't want to miss the upcoming episodes that delve into intriguing, why, questions. Thank you for joining us for this video. Stay well and take care of yourself.